Hello YouTube Vintage Antique Radio Restorers and Appreciators. That TikTok sound you hear in the background is, well, it's an antique clock to match this antique radio. It's a little bit older. The radio's 1932. The clock's about 1914. Um, I decided to turn this on. Now that it's back together, you'll hear a little pop in a second. That's just the fuel coil being energized by the capacitor. And so it's back in the chassis. I cleaned the wood up. I have not refinished this. But I have used wood crayons and colored wax and stuff to kind of bring it back. And I'm pretty impressed with it. It, it doesn't look refinished, but it's not a mess either. It's just somewhere in between. It just has a nice glow to it. So let's see how this sounds. So this is volume on off. Like you this is tone. The foundation that you've also begun. Can you and this is tuning. It likes the oldie stations. It actually is very sensitive. It's got a piece of wire, about 10 feet of wire, just lying on the floor behind a cabinet. Now the strong stations... A quick sale and maximum profit. This does not have any kind of AGC or automatic volume control. It's because of the early design. There is an oldie station up here. In this area, we seem to get interference from the cordless phone stand that's nearby. But uh, it does pick up quite a few. Gets 1010 out of Toronto. New um, cloth, that's actually, if you're looking for very reasonably priced speaker cloth, and I hate to say this, but Amazon has it. And it's, there was this tweed, heavy duty t piece of tweed jacket or something that was th in there before I took the board out and underneath were pieces of a speaker cloth, very similar to this one, like eerily similar. It's sort of brown, a little bit of a gold touch and stretched it out, glued it around on the edges. There's a board in here and there it is. And, uh... So I'm going to listen to this. It plays very well. We played it for about an hour last night. I would say, if anything, the 224 tube and the uh, detector circuit is a little bit weak. I might try doing a little bit of tube rolling. I have a few of these tubes. I can show you what it looks like through the back if you have a second. It's on um, foam sliders. Here's where you can actually see the filaments going. Fuel coil speaker in the old parts. So there it is. Thanks for watching and listening.